Taurus, hello and welcome back. Tonight we are going to see the energies that will be important for you and we're talking about mid of September 2022. So Taurus, let's see what that uh, period has for you. We're going to see past your future, a potential outcome of course, the energy that is coming to you and you don't know. We'll see your focus, your strength, where you are right now. Messages that are important. And let's start for you, Taurus. I have to say to you, there's something about uh, f family or beloved persons. They are going to have. You're going like, like let's say, to have some kind of uh, of confession. You're going to find something there that uh, could be lots of support. That someone is so determined to support you. Something good will happen in your family, but maybe one or friends it could be friends but some kind of disappointment there i don't know why someone feels a little bit hurt maybe neglected by you it could be but uh, for sure i have to say to you that something very good waits for you regarding your family it could be even your house your actual house something that can happen oh that's nice Okay. Oh damn. Wonderful. You are hoping. You are the magician. Okay. And you're hoping Taurus to have that ace of swords that no one can stop you. No one can stop you. Uh, you are um, focused in having a contract in your life or true love. Let's see. Maybe both of them. In the past, there was a person. The king of wands, sexy, sexy, sexy guy. What happened to that person? We will see. Beautiful, 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 beautiful Taurus. The ace of pentacles, you are going to have financial opportunity or proposal or chance that you really hope to have it. It is one of your biggest wishes to come true with this one given to you by the emperor very very powerful person and we are going to see the emperor and the extent really but i have to say to you that could be that person having in his or her in the back of his or her mind you and him or her as lovers we will see we will see we will see the emperor the extended reading but everything will start with a financial chance or opportunity or offer from that person that is wow that's great for you energy that is coming and you have no idea yet what could be okay love love to take the right decisions regarding love Take the right decisions regarding love. Love is coming to you. Love is coming to you. Someone is approaching you, is ready to approach you. Hmm. Not bad. Especially, oh, especially what you're hoping for. Stability. Stability. Okay. I just felt, you know, that 
uh, some of you have to do with a very big institution very big institution so it feels like I always say like uh, you have to open a huge door and that is involved in your future it could be school could be university could be um, anything that okay has a huge door King of Swords is that your potential outcome the overall energy oh are you going to yes okay okay <laughs> are you going to doubt who you're going to have hmm? are you in between the king of uh, wands with the king of swords hmm? maybe also the emperor is involved we're going to see let's see Let's see, Taurus. I love it here with money. I love the the way that you're going to manifest the best in your life in the future. Now here, why I see pain inside of you? Why? We will see. But first, the king of wands, or at least the past. What happened there? Oh, nice. Nice. Then what? What? Have you been into into a court case with that person? Not for everyone, of course. Cannot every one of you can be in court or have something legal with that person. But I see something wonderful from that person from the past. Money that can make you really independent financially. It's something that you deserve and you you were appreciated by that person from the past i see the very very good energy hmm? i hope that you keep it in your life or you have that person still in your life and that doesn't appear only in the past it could have been a person that you met in the past something happened and still in your life i hope so because until now it appears like wow that's very good we're going to see in the extended yes 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 more about that king of ones let's see now the two of cups soulmate love sex <sighs> love sex balance love and money together soulmate as we said maybe that balance is between your career and your erotic life that can be brilliant this is a, your focus okay and most of everything you appear to be the queen of wands with the ace of wands come on taurus who can resist you if your focus is to become that sexy you have that passion and lust in the back of your mind and at the same time you have that sexual drive with love and fairness and soulmate energy who is the lucky one tell me who is the lucky one wow the lucky one is the king of pentacles what <laughs> see the lucky one is the king of pentacles really really super lucky guy super lucky guy because for that person maybe for you but for that person he's wow everything that wanted you know it's like um, it's like mana falling from the sky you know I'm hungry and suddenly appear Taurus in falling from the sky for me and it's like oh god thank you so much it was everything that I hoped for and even beyond my my my, my dreams hmm we will see that pain though we have to see that pain because probably it's not belonging to you it belongs to that king of pentacles and we're going to see later in the extended okay one two absolutely with the emperor okay let's see your future now that's fucking brilliant. I love it that it's in reverse. I love it that it's in reverse. 
I love it. Yes. So you are hoping to heal from disappointments. You are healed to situations that um, made you sad. And absolutely, absolutely, to move on from situations that, of course, were not good for you. Maybe you have been a little bit, uh, or you or someone else was too egoistical. There were enemies around you and maybe still are, but in the future, you overcome it. You heal from disappointment, you heal from something that probably you are blaming yourself somehow because you lost a chance. It could be, it could be, but uh, it is over. It is over. At the same time, you finally stop sabotaging your own self. You know, being stuck into pain, in overthinking, in uh, sadness, in disappointment. What are you doing? Nothing. What will be the result? Yes, you can have lessons. Yes, you. it, it is a process that you have to pass. So to heal yourself and move on and evolve and progress. But at the same time, so what? You don't benefit yourself like this. You're just shooting your own self. You are overcoming all of this in the future. Now let's go to the brilliant uh, offer that will make you fucking happy. And you see it. It is around you, it is around you that will change everything in your life. It is a divine timing. It is. It's like, like destiny to come into your life. Probably that person is the one that will support you so much, the hierophant. Advice you, support you, offer this to you, it could be. Open roads maybe for you, so that you can have it and it will come fast. And what will happen? No one can stop you. No one will stop you. No one can stop this success. You deserve and it is yours. No one can take it from you. No one. Let's see also love that is coming to you. You don't know money is coming to you? Fantastic. Getting out of problems and disappointments? Fantastic. You being so sexy. It's wonderful. That lucky guy, I don't know. Maybe I'm even jealous to that guy. <laughs> okay. So let's see the, uh, the king of cups. Knight of Cups, actually, but that, uh, it's from the past, you're going to, mm, yes, yes, the Hierophant again is there to support you, love is coming to you, to receive that love, we will see if any of them is that person that is coming to you, somehow you want a part of yours, doesn't want to let the past, uh, doesn't want to let the past go away, mm? You keep the past inside of you somehow. It's like a small piece of your heart belongs to your past. And you are doubting. You don't even you don't even want to erase that part of yours. I understand. I can agree. I don't doubt at all. But I see you also get emotionally touched. It is like saying I keep I keep it as a treasure, maybe it had uh, hurt me in the past, but it is mine, it is my pain. So, uh, no matter what, even if it was like it was, it was mine. So, I keep it there in my heart, in a small corner, in a small place. I treasure it because it gave me lessons, even if lessons were painful, but I am moving on. I am going to find new love. I'm going to detach from all these past energies. The past belongs to the past. We say it almost every time. And you are going to uh, to make it happen in reality. Not only theory. Ah, okay. There are chances, there are chances that, uh, moments, not chances, moments, that you feel that you're not good enough, that you feel that they are not good enough to have what you want, as we said, some, about something big, about an uh, institution, about making your own business. You also feel that someone is very stingy. I don't know who is that stingy. I don't know. You will know. Uh, 
the point is that you are maybe blaming yourself not to have uh, um, you know the clarity or understanding what will happen in the future because there is a possibility that everything they had promised you or the things that you'll find in your path can be an illusion you may be thinking that it can be a miracle and actually is an illusion so you are hoping <laughs> Someone obviously was in love, is in love, and listening to love songs. <laughs> anyway, okay. So I was saying to you that you're going to overcome it. You're going to overcome. You have victory over that power, that energy, power over that energy, and you're going to make it happen. What you're hoping for, it is coming to you after you overcome um, some kind of situation that you can blame yourself that you feel that they are not good enough, you will have the clarity and you will understand what is going on. You will have the plan and if you understand and you have all the information around you, then you can know if it's worth it or not. It is about a partnership. And this one is about a partnership. And let's see the King of Swords there. your potential outcome somewhat comes to you that person could be from abroad has to travel maybe have to relocate that person or you have to relocate so to meet there is the same energy that is coming to you and you don't know love 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 because you're not together yet or because it's involved your job or business or that person's job business whatever feels pain because wants to be with you wants to come to you and offer you love but since there can be distance or there can be work between the two of you that person feels lots of pain in any case we're going to see the extended burden that person's feelings and actions towards you what wants from you can really bring something wise there at the potential outcome, why that's so important to be there at that position. We're going to see. So, let's sum it up. The King of Pentacles, the lucky guy, okay, mm, very lucky guy. We will have to see. Yes, of course, the King of Swords. What feels about you? The King of uh, Wands from the past that we had that great energy. Remember? Really, really has very good energy that person from the past we are going to see one two and three those three what they feel about you if you have to open up the door of your life or your heart or even your bed to your, your bedroom to any of them or no and how a situation can be very very interesting because that maybe you have some kind of sexual relationship with this one the other one already from the past is something wonderful and the, the last one has love to bring to you to offer to you but uh, work or distance gets in between the two of you what will happen finally will that person open up or not can you be a couple or not is it good or not everything will see in the extended reading if you want you can follow me towards there the link as always will be in the description box below okay so thank you so much for watching and we'll talk quite soon with uh, the predictions about October. Until then, take care, love you all, and bye for now.